Welcome to another Pallet Jacking Vlog. What is up beautiful people? TJ here with another episode. Today it's going to be a little bit different video, a little bit more chill. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a tips video about if you were a newer reseller, what are three things that we would tell you if we were in the elevator and we had to give you like an elevator speech. These are the three things that we would tell you in April. Oh, we shot the video quite a while ago. Uh, just got around to editing it. I'm going to compile it all and put it in this video. Um, but these are the top three tips that we would tell you as a, um, a newer reseller. So just to be quite honest with you, me and April, um, starting this business, we've only been in this business for about a year and a half. So it's not necessarily like we're like gurus or anything like that, but we definitely have made quite a bit of mistakes while we started this business. Um, and it would only be fair for us to give you all those mistakes, um, or, you know, kind of give you those scenarios so you can understand how we made those mistakes, what we did, what you all can do better so you don't have to make the same mistakes that we did. Um, so want to just kind of compile this a little bit to to, to like our our newer um, people. I hadn't made, we hadn't made a tips video in quite a while. We do drop a little nuggets every now and again, but we hadn't really made a video just sitting down kind of talk about some stuff. Um, so also we are doing daily videos. So this is live, I'm, it's 7.46 PM. Eastern Standard Time, I'm gonna have this video out at nine o'clock, I promise. I, may, I Well, I don't wanna make a promise because I, <laughs> I always <laughs> promise stuff. Uh, I will say one of the things, if you are following me uh, or if, if you're following us in the uh, Pallet Jacking group, you will know that I did. <sighs> I secured the PS5 today. So I've got a lot of work tonight. Uh, I'm gonna do an unboxing of this. I got some other stuff I'm gonna do. Uh, some unboxings of, me and April just filmed two more unboxings. And so we've got a quite a like busy weekend this weekend. So we're trying to get a lot of stuff in. We are still gonna do daily videos in December. So this video is for today. Tomorrow will be a Ben's video and I hope you all will enjoy that. So without further ado, let's get to the tips. One of the things that I would tell a new person that wants to get into pallet flipping or to get into liquidation uh, is to start small. Don't start, everybody wants to jump out there and get like a truckload. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Because <laughs> It will be like disastrous if you get like this truckload full of junk, mm -hmm. junk, and you don't know how to sell it. Yeah, you don't know how to offload it. Yeah, so I would start small, a box or a uh, lot, or a lot, mm -hmm. or even I know some people are have bad experiences with smaller lots, but even you can go through there and find a smaller. This is a smaller investment. Uh, because you don't want to get this big, huge pallet um, or even get this big, huge truckload and then process it all and then realize that you can't process all of it. And that's another thing you look at is your time. You don't know how long it's going to take you to process the pallet. For me in April, I've found that we can probably do about three a right. week, something like that. I mean, and that's a lot. Right. But when we first started, mm -hmm. it took us a while because, like I said, we didn't know where to sell stuff. Um, things that were broken that we probably could have made money on, we probably discarded it. Right. When we could have actually, you know, made a profit on it some kind of way. Um, so it's kind of give you a learning curve if you can start smaller and kind of just work your way up to buying like multiple pallets. Yeah. And trust me, you will get there. Once you buy one, you see how it feels, see how it smells, see if you like it. Then you know you you can up you know go up and, and get a big pallet or you can go and get two pallets or three pallets. Um, but just work your way up small and, and don't just dive in you know head and foot first. I don't know if that's right. right. Head and foot first. What? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. We'll just make something. We'll up. just make something up. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want to buy a truckload and become overwhelmed. Right. Because that can happen. You get I don't know what truckloads. They have sixteen pallets in it. Yeah. And it's just you. Yeah, it ain't, it's not going to work out. We actually, yeah. um, on our Facebook group, we have a couple people that have bought large pallets and, you know, they've come back. We've This is our advice that we always give people. Mm -hmm. They come back and say, you know what? <laughs> he was right. We right. should have really started a lot smaller. So just keep that in mind when you're starting out. Another tip is to spend only as much as you're willing to lose. So 
If you're willing to lose $500, spend $500. Don't go out and spend $5,000. You get a terrible palate. Now you are in the negative $5,000 because you can't make your $5,000 back. Right, so that uh, that's one of the biggest things is whenever you buy a liquidation palette or a lot, um, just expect to make nothing. I know that sounds bad because you know we're in this, this is a business, you wanna make money, you wanna be profitable, um, but you can't um, expect to make anything because you don't know if you are going to be profitable, you don't know if you're going to be able to sell those things on eBay or Amazon or locally. If, you, if you're selling locally, um, you don't know what the shipping fees are going to be. There's so many different variables um, with it that you don't really know if right. you're going to be profitable. So if you go into it and saying, OK, well, I just saved up three hundred dollars. I'm going to buy my first pallet or my first lot. Um, and it's not going to break your bank. So don't take your rent money right. <laughs> and, and go buy a pallet, please. Right. right. <laughs> I mean, cause it's a gamble. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you get a great palette. You can spend $300, you get 500 items, brand new items, mm -hmm. and you can make, I don't know, $2,000. But then sometimes you can spend, yeah. <laughs> you can spend that same $300 and you have 300 items worth of junk yep. and barely be able to make that $300 back. So you want to make sure that you're not going in spending money that you can't afford to lose. Right. I would also spend some time um, or invest time learning how to go through manifest and how to research products. Uh, I had an upper advantage because I had sold on eBay for so long, April sold on eBay before. So it wasn't necessarily like we didn't understand the e eBay atmosphere. Um, Amazon was a, a new animal for both of us mm -hmm. dealing with liquidation. Right. Um, so, but we figured it out. We had to go through and do research, figure out how to send stuff in, how to do FBA. Uh, we had to go in and figure out how to look at manifest and how to look at eBay and look at what's sold versus what's listed and how much those prices are and kind of meeting in the middle. But you don't, you know, in the beginning, you're probably not going to know how to go in and do that research. So you can look at a palette and, or you can look at a lot and say, wow, this is, looks great. It's got $5,000 worth of stuff on it, the MSRP, but really, realistically, it may only be a thousand dollars worth of stuff, right. whatever you. <laughs> so you want to at least double your money. And then like TJ said, um, if you look at that manifest, you want to make sure if you're going to be selling on eBay, you want to look at like what actually is selling, not what is listed for, because you can list stuff on eBay all day long. I can list a pencil on there for $999. Right. So it doesn't mean that it's going to sell for $999. So you want to make sure you are looking at that manifest and comparing it to what is actually selling right now um, to see if you're going to be profitable. Right. And then sometimes the manifest is double. It'll say it's worth $250 and it's not really worth $250. Right. Sometimes those manifests are misleading. So you just want to make sure you are going out there doing the research, looking on all the websites, you know, Amazon, eBay, Macari, just trying to get an idea of what that item is selling for before you go out and say, okay, I'm gonna go spend this $800 on this palette because it's got, you know, $6,000 worth of Right, and you also and you also don't know um, when you get the palette if you if it depends on the um, it depends on the condition of the pallet. So if you get unexpected returns, okay, it could be a five hundred dollar item, but it could be broken, exactly. or it could be missing stuff, or you know, it could have one piece of a seven piece comforter set missing, or something like that. Right. And you don't necessarily know that. I mean, the value is five hundred dollars, but are you going to be able to sell it for that much in the condition that you're getting the items in? And sometimes. Uh, pallets, they say the chef pools, they say they're new, um, they say they are, you know, um, salvage. There's right. a salvage pallet. So there's just different conditions. You really have to look at the condition of what you're getting um, and then versus how much you put into it and how much you can really get back for it. So you have to know how to do that research to understand those those profit margins and different right. things like right. that. All right, that's going to be it for today, guys. If you like these types of videos, Please like, share, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Also hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we release new videos. Like I said, we're gonna have daily videos every single day in December. Hopefully, pray for me. I'm trying to do it. <laughs> uh, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.